because the surface of the, those figures are very very smooth so this is good basic uh, for a good looking result because uh, casted figures for example like alpine are always the best choice for uh, uh, for good painted, uh, good looking painted figure, but uh, but uh, these uh, DML generation two figures are cheaper, are cheaper option, and uh, and uh, in this workshop uh, I will show paint uh, uh, this this one. So. Uh, as you can see, I have only few colors, any special sets for painting uniforms. I have, uh, uh, this is a uh, very usable color, uh, 876, this is brown sand. Uh, with this color I'm painting faces, uh, black uniforms, uh, camouflage uniforms, uh, everything on figures and also on, on the AFE. This is probably the most usable color from Vallejo. Uh, uh, for example, the, the blue, I never opened the color, so this is everything I'm using for painting uh, all on the figures. Uh, what is important, what is uh, very important is uh, Tamiya uh, X21 uh, flat base. The flat base is important for, for flat, flat look uh, and natural look on the uniform. And if the surface of the figure will not uh, not not flat and uh, matte, the uh, the lights and shadows will never look good and natural on the on the uniform. So uh, I will start uh, mix the basic color and uh, uh, mixing of the colors uh, is very important for the final result because. Uh, as you can see on the inspiration uh, inspiration uh, picture painted uh, this is excellent uh, excellent picture painted by Ron Wolstead and this is very usable for painting figures because uh, you can see where he places lights and shadows on the figure and uh, how he works with the colors for example, as you can see, the basic basic color. This is this is not not uh, yellow uh, or white or green. This is this is interesting mix something between yellow, green, uh, uh, gray. Yes, and uh, the basic color must be always very very uh, light. For example. As you can see, I'm beginning with the with the white color. Yeah, but uh, lots of modelers use the black uh, base color. Uh, many figure makers uh, using uh, as basic color black, uh, but. Uh, I'm, uh, as you can see on the figure, I'm using uh, airbrush it. Uh, this is Tamiya XF, uh, XF57 buff, uh, buff, because uh, if you have the basic color similar to the colors on the on on the uniform, uh, uh, you can use only one basic basic color painting with ba basic. Uh, uh, one layer? Yes, one layer. Uh, paint it just one time. You, you paint it just one time, you must not use it so many uh, paintings. Yeah. These colors must be always so uh, very good shaken because uh, the pigment with the, with the liquor must be, must be di diluted, very good diluted. So now I have here a part of the white color with a little bit of the of the brown sand. Uh, 
And now I will use uh, for a darker look a bit of German grey. But just now not directly in the in the mixing color. This is basic skin tone. This is also very usable color, uh, not just like for painting faces or hands, but uh, also very usable for painting uniform. And uh, now uh, I must use the part of the flat base. Um, you should use probably around 20% uh, uh, into into the color. Uh, and if you are using, uh, if you are painting the basic color, the, uh, the you must use, uh, for example, around uh, 30, 30, 30 percent into the basic tone to make the, the flat and matte uh, look. And now the diluting. Uh, usually I'm using distilled water, but uh, now I have the, the water only from water pipe. So the basic color looks uh, still too dark, still too dark and uh, too, too orange brown. So I must add more of uh, more of the uh, pencil pencil gray and a little bit of the uniform green. And again, the light colors. Sorry, if you don't need the compressor, I take it. Okay. Yes, so I don't need it. Thank you. As you can see, for mixing the colors, I'm using a brush. This is older brush uh, because uh, uh, the brush helps me uh, dilute the tones of the colors and, and the water 
uh, better than, for example, with rod like this. For compare, we can uh, we can uh, paint directly on the on the inspiration uh, inspiration uh, picture, uh, and as you can see, the pic the tones of the colors are just start looking uh, similar. But uh, my color is still too too dark, so I must again add uh, more of the of the light color. So the basic color is ready and uh, I can apply it on the on the uniform. It's possible to see it on, on, on it on the TV. Uh, one thing, uh, if you're mixing colors, you should have uh, light with natural specter because this is yellow light and uh, it, I, I don't see anything, I, I don't see good, uh, good tones. Uh, you can also sit sit here. This is uh, three places if you want. Uh, so as you see, I painted uh, just only the the front uh, front front of the figure because uh, 
paint paint complete figure or complete uniform is very time consuming time consuming work so uh, i must work very fast so i will make only the, only the front part and and the hands on the on the uniform Uh, thanks, uh, I, I have it uh, airbrushed it with the basic color, similar to the, to the, to the basic color mixed from the acrylics. Uh, the, the surface is completely covered just with, with the, with the first, first layer. Before it will dry, I just can start mix the first shadow and first light. Of course, I'm making it from the from the basic color. So for the light I will again use uh, basic skin tone. And the part of uh, of white. For the for making of the first shadow, I'm using uh, red brown color, also very usable color. And uh, like in case of the basic color, I must again use uh, part of the of the flat base. Now the, now the basic color is dry and uh, I shall start applying of the, of the first, first shadow the, or first light. Uh, I'm always beginning with the lights. And with placing of the lights, uh, could again help me the the picture painted by Ron Wallstedt.
uh, if we have uh, at uh, our working bench the light from the upper side uh, it always uh, could help us to see where we should place the the lights and the shadows because uh, I have here from the from my right hand the light going there so uh, it's it's a little bit confusing to paint to paint the lights and shadows in the in the in the technique uh, placing lights and shadows from uh, upper side. And now, uh, when I finish it, placing of the uh, first uh, first light, uh, I must make uh, the the between color. So I will mix part of the basic color and part of the first first uh, light one to one ratio. And now I must where it diluted it uh, into consistency uh, like milk and now I will place the between colors just only the edge between basic color and first light This technique uh, can help me to create the smooth, uh, smooth uh, transitions bet between the, the colors. So now it's time to make the first shadow. Again, color must be very diluted. Or you can sit uh, here if you want. Uh, as you see uh, on the on the figure, uh, like uh, on my figure figures where the work is still in progress, 
uh, I have uh, not glued details uh, and equipment like shovel or canteen on the figure or, or hands because the painting uh, is before gluing uh, these details uh, always, always much easier. And uh, after placing the first shadow, I will also make uh, again the, the between color from the first shadow and, and from the basic color. Again, consistency like milk. This technique uh, is, called, uh, is called blending and it's used uh, by many figure painters, for example Mr. Ortiz. So the basic lights and shadows are finished and now I will mix uh, second light and shadow uh, from the first, first light and first shadow.
again I will add uh, just a little bit of the uh, flat base So I finished the second lights and shadows and uh, now you can see uh, the differences between between the, the tones between the tones of the basic color. Again, I'm starting with uh, with using using a light lighter color. And like before, I will uh, again mix uh, the between color, uh, which will between the first light and and second light. Very diluted water.
the final look uh, of the figure always depend, depends on you uh, how long uh, you want to play with, with placing the lights and shadows because um, if you want to make a really smooth, smooth surface bit, uh, between perfect transitions uh, with perfect transitions between lights and shadows uh, uh, you must uh, work uh, very slowly and, and precise. So I have blended the lights and uh, <clears throat> now the second and last shadow before painting the, the, the patches.
So now I will first uh, blend the first first uh, shadow, uh, first shadow and second shadow. So uh, I have just finished the uh, basic shading of the figure. Uh, as you can see, so some shadows, uh, some shadows and lights are just visible, and you can also see how look uh, how work the the Tamiya flat base. The the surface of the figure is really really uh, flat. Uh, and mud. Uh, now, it's now it's time for mixing uh, the the colors of the patches. And uh, on the splinter pattern uh, are most uh, most of the of the brown patches. So the color of the brown patches. Patches uh, is uh, very important, and the color must be mixed mix it in harmony with the with the uh, basic color of the uniform. Because uh, if uh, we will use, uh, for example, dark brown color, which will not not it non, not in harmony with the with the basic tone of the of the uniform. The result will never never look uh, natural. So uh, for the for the good harmony between the colors, uh, I will start mixing uh, from the from the basic tone. And uh, then I will uh, uh, add the part of uh, uh, brown sand and the darker uh, black red.
Uh, we can uh, also again try try uh, the tone of of the mixed colors uh, compare with the with the inspiration picture. If you paint uh, uh, just for example a uh, field gray, just a plain field gray uh, clothes, you apply uh, two or three uh, lights. Um, uh, as uh, as in case like this, uh, I'm using only two lights and two shadows. But uh, for as I see it uh, not look uh, realistic, I will then add more lights and shadows if I need. Mm -hmm. Before painting the patches, it's always use good to know how the camouflage works, uh, uh, how many how many patches are uh, are here, uh, if there are much more green patches, brown patches, how how they looks uh, the sharp edges, the sharp edges. Some of them are bigger, uh, some of them are smaller. So it's good uh, before painting figures. It's always good to study books about uh, about uh, German uniforms.
even do you prefer this kind of palettes or uh, have you tried uh, uh, no, that no, no, uh, I'm using I'm using palettes uh, from Usid Medicaments. <laughs> But uh, today I talked uh, with a colleague and he told me there are exi exist uh, palettes with special paper uh, which is uh, still wet and when you apply the acrylic colors on the, on the paper uh, they are not drying so fast uh, like, like in case when you use a uh, palette like this. Because the drying um, is uh, a little bit problem, as you can see. For example, this this these colors are almo almost uh, dry. So I have, if I won't make uh, then uh, some refinements of the first shadows, ATC, I must uh, mix another another tone of the color. I use wet palettes, but not special paper, just a bakery paper. And the artist that is with this? Yeah. They will use uh, retarder for other colors? No. Me? Yeah. No, 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 uh, I don't use it, uh, never, I never try to use it uh, retarder. But um, I I must try it, because uh, I think uh, this could be uh, this could be good, uh, good, uh, good help with uh, with problem of the drying colors. And uh, also, when you use uh, retarder, you can uh, maybe uh, better blend the colors between the the shadow, shadow and light. You can you can blend it directly with brush until it will dry. The most uh, time-consuming uh, thing on uh, painting uniforms is is uh, that we should uh, make the lights and shadows also on the on the camouflage patches because if we not uh, do this, the figure will never never look uh, never look realistic. So we must uh, make uh, also. Uh, basic basic shadows and lights also on the patches. And we can also use uh, 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 outlining of the patches, not only the lights and shadows, but uh, also on some uh, on some places we can use uh, outlines uh, like on the picture, so if if we have uh, the patch, uh, <coughs> uh, we should use, uh, for example, the shadow and uh, and the light on the patch, but we should use also. Uh, on on some places uh, outlines like this, but but not 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 everywhere. 
this is this is not good but uh, some places we can make uh, some smooth smooth outlines and if we will uh, make it uh, the result will look uh, uh, more realistic For the harmony between the tones, uh, I'm still working with the with the same colors. So for the lights, I'm using the first light of the basic color. Uh, for the outlines of the patches, uh, you use the same for for the outlines, uh, is good if you use uh, first or second shadows uh, of the of the patches. Of the patches. So I wanted to create light, but now it's shadow.
Now I can make uh, some refinements with the, with the diluted uh, color of the patches. So we can also play uh, more with the with the patches, but uh, now I must make uh, also the green patches because uh, I have uh, not not much time. Again, uh, I'm starting starting uh, making the color or the green patches from uh, the basic color. And for the green, I'm using uh, uh, always only just a little bit, a uh, little bit of the of the green because uh, because uh, if I will use uh, really much much more of the green, the the colors will uh, again not look uh, will, will not look realistic. And now, like on the picture, on like the inspiration picture, 
uh, there are only few uh, there are only few uh, green colors not so much uh, like the like the brown like the brown patches So, uh, like in the case uh, of the basic color and the and, uh, and case of the patches, uh, I must uh, again make the lights and shadows also on the on the green patches. <laughs> 